What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? All right. Jay Vargas steps up in the building today to chop it up with your guy, Lockout Men. He comes to tell us his time with CLE Transportation out of Huron, Ohio. Unfortunately, he accepted a job offer from them and... Unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to be. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right. So, Jay in the building. Oh, All right, man. Man. So, you, uh, you, you, you came to me in a, in a comment session on uh, one of the uh, – on one of the call videos, uh, in particularly uh, CLE transportation, uh, you made a you ma you made a comment in there, and uh, and I guess uh, I guess you're here today just to talk to me a little bit more about your experience with the company. Yeah, of course, I wanna educate your viewers, educate your drivers to make absolutely sure they're signing up for a company that they're going to be happy with. You know, uh -huh. as a truck driver, it's really hard to find a good company. You know, you could read reviews and then it ends up not being what you thought it'd be. Okay. Okay. So let's start at the beginning, man. So I, I, how long ago was you working for the company? Well, uh, I want to say um, a couple months ago, like four or five months ago or so. Oh, okay. So this was this year? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely this year. All right, so how did you how, how did you come across the company and and I guess uh I guess my next question is is how how did the interaction between you and the recruiter go? Um oh, I found them through Indeed. I uh, was working for a company called Hirschbach Motor Lines on a dedicated account and uh I had to move to the city of Jacksonville, Florida and we don't have any accounts there cuz it's a Midwest company, so I was on Indeed trying to find a company here in Florida, came across one of their jobs advertisements. Uh, they wanted a guy that was uh, supposedly trying to uh, run freight from their terminal to do LTL loads throughout Florida. But and the recruiters were cool. The people, the owner was cool and stuff. And I like talking to the people who are recruiters and going through that orientation process. They were cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, so on Indeed, they was... Uh... They was looking for uh, specifically uh, Florida rate, mm -hmm. uh, Florida natives to run mm -hmm. yeah, from Florida from the Florida, mid right. from the mid <laughs> from the Midwest <laughs> to uh, to the South. Oh no, um, no the me the, the Midwest account was the company that I worked for previously. It had nothing to do with them. Not, no, 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 terminals no. are based. What the, Ohio is uh, Ohio is up in the Midwest. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I guess you consider. Yeah, yeah. I guess you consider the Midwest. Yeah, yeah they, they have like a turn. They have two buildings, one in Norwalk and then another in Huron. I can't recall which one was the terminal and which one was the building where the HR people are. But they needed uh, a guy that would go to uh, their terminal, pick up a trailer, and then drive it down to Florida, do LTL loads. That's what they claimed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, L LTL. And they were like, well. For the for the people yeah, that we'll, don't we'll know, you... for the people that don't know, LTL oh. loads is uh is multi stop loads. Right. Yeah. 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 Like okay. Delivery driver. Right. Yeah. Kinda. Okay. 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 So you would so you would uh get a load from the terminal, take it down to Florida, and then you would do a relay back up to the terminal. But being that you live down in Florida, you would be able to take your your what your your weekends off or how, your, your how, how yeah 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 okay it was seven to ten days out they claimed yeah and that was how it's supposed to work but i got my truck and i got my trailer and i never went to florida they just had me doing random spot freight throughout the country <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 like, so what <laughs> So you, so you was on you you was under the pretense of signing on to just do, uh, the the Florida runs pretty much. Was that the way? Mm -hmm. was yeah, that, yeah, that because that's what they said. Yeah. So that's, that's what, what it was. Job advertising. So that's what it was yeah. advertised on Indy. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even on Indeed, and when I called them, they said, that's what we need. We need a guy to do this and this and that. Exactly like you said, we get a relay load. <laughs> back to the terminal and you take your own time after you do your stops and that's what they said and then you oh. get the truck and i'm out here in omaha nebraska somewhere like what the fuck okay okay so you got uh all right so <laughs> how did they get you how, how did they get you up to uh ohio did they did, did did they take care of everything getting you up there or you had to get up there or how did that work mm -hmm. no no they, they took care of it they they bought me a plane ticket and everything they put me in a hotel room Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So you 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 got there. You you started to work. You met how how was the how was the atmosphere of when you got there, like when you met the people? Wait, what was the atmosphere you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how how was the atmosphere? Was it aggressive? Was it friendly? What what was um, the atmosphere? Yeah, the the atmosphere of of Huron, I think is the owners the owners were cool the hr people were cool the recruiters were cool and they were all cool and they had a cool atmosphere but i didn't like the atmosphere of the, the, so the driver managers they're in a different city in, in the drop yard and they didn't have like this cool vibe to them they were in like their little motorcycle gang club that they had they ride their little harleys around in and i didn't get good vibes from them but the people who owned the place and all the hr people in the other building yeah they were cool all right, all right. So you now you there, now you started running loads, uh, and you just said it it just it just wasn't it just wasn't giving. You 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 what did you run any Florida loads or what happened? Not really. I remember I ran a couple, but like like they like and, and you know, I was like I kinda thought to myself, I was like, Well, you know, if you're getting your money and you're getting your home time you know, what does it matter if you are going out to these random places? So just do it and not say anything. But they never gave me home time. They <laughs> never gave me time off. I was like, what the heck? Wow. Okay. So you so, yeah. so you say you ran a couple of Florida lows and now you started running outside of Florida. What would I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like did this, they give you did they give random you random places? Did they give you any particular reason why they wasn't running you on the on, on the on the account that you signed up for? Nope. The guy was the manager was a, the driver manager, um, pretty negative guy. He was like, "Well, this is just do what I say." Blah 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 blah. Got some hookups, or we got some hiccups. We got multiple. He said that their excuse was they had multiple uh, drivers from Florida, mm -hmm. and that they would need to give specific people the LTL freight to get them home. Right. So that's why they don't have enough LTL freight. But well, wait a minute, ain't you one of the like, why did you hire? Me? Ain't you one of the Florida guys? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Logic, right? Why did you hire me if you don't have the <laughs> yeah. All right. So overall overall the reason are, are you still with the company or what what happened and oh, what led not. up what led up to you to decide to leave what what led up to you to decide to leave uh, i was a hilarious story i have to tell you this so um i'm on my 10th day right on my 10th day out and i'm in the middle of tennessee somewhere and i have no 70 hour clock and the manager he calls me up and he says hey i got a load i need you to take it to like uh nebraska and I, and I looked at him confused and I said, what are you talking about? It's a seven to 10 days out. I don't have any clock left. How can I do this and go all the way back to Ohio and then go all the way back to Florida, deliver a bunch of loads and stops and then make that in 24 hours. It doesn't even make sense. And the guy was like, you know, I don't care. You can go talk to somebody else who cares about your problems and do what I say, blah, 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 blah. So I go in my truck, right? And I, uh, I'm on my 34 hour reset and I'm looking for new jobs because I'm thinking about moving this company and transportation was the last like thing that I searched on indeed. 
And I noticed they took my job posting down and they replaced it with another job posting. And the new job posting said, seeking Florida drivers for $1,800 a week for two weeks out and two days off. And it clicked to me that these people made a fake job posting promising me seven to 10 and they want to keep me out 14 days, but they still want to pay me the 1500 And I realized I'm getting screwed out of $300 here. So I just took the truck and I parked it and I just took a plane ride home and I paid for it and I didn't talk to them and I just left because I don't feel that's ethical business to, to, to do something like that. Wow. All right. So wait, let, yeah. let me, let me see it's if a I, true story and you can call them up to get their side of the story. They'll well, tell you. wait, wait, let me, let me see if I understand this right quick. So you, so in the midst of you being on your 34, you had a call from one of the, what, one of the, uh, uh, managers, uh, managers yeah. drive, one of the driver managers that wanted you to take a load while you was on your 34. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. He told me take a 34 hour reset, then take a load all the way to oh. Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Then take it all the way to Ohio and then do all of this crazy stuff. And I oh. said, to him, hey, man, dude. Okay. You, you hired me for, yeah, like I said, okay. yeah. Okay. So hold, hold, hold up. So, oh, okay. So after your 34, so you, where are mm -hmm. you, where no, no. are you taking your 34 at? probably like somewhere in the Appalachian mountains of like Kentucky or Tennessee. I can't recall. It's been like a couple of months ago. Okay. So you, so you taking, so you're not taking the 34 at, at home. Like you, you thought you would. At my house. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you taking, like, I'm supposed to be home. Right now. Yeah. Okay. So you taking your 34 in Kentucky somewhere, but then instead of getting routed back home, like you supposed to, they give you a route out to, uh, Nebraska, somewhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're right. Oh, okay. After I've been out on the road for like ten days, I was like, "What the heck, bro?" Okay. So did you did did you call up the driver manager to again? I I, I know I asked you this, but did you call call up the driver manager and be like, "Hey, bro, um, you know, uh, I I need to go home, or I want some home time in 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 Florida, or something like that. Was was there any common ground that that y'all could have came to? Yeah, I called them up, and like I'm a reasonable person. I understand that Florida is pretty bad for freight, so I was trying to work with the guy. But um, I called him, and, and like he just had like a I don't care attitude. Do what I say. If you you really want to, you can go call somebody else about it. Go call the supervisor, whatever her name was. So I was like, well, <laughs> not getting anything talking to this guy. So I had to go call up uh, one of the owners or somebody who worked for the owner in the other office. And they worked something out where, like, they had a drop or some something complicated. I can't recall. But you mind if I ask who that person was that you was talking or you, you don't want to put it out there? Oh, the driver manager? Yeah. I think his name was like Mike or something. He rides like he, I think his name was Mike. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, okay, okay. So Mike. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. So he was. So he. So y'all couldn't. So in other words, y'all couldn't get along with each other. I wouldn't say that. I think it was me being awfully reasonable to the dude and. The guy just had an I don't care attitude. I'm like, dude, what the heck? You can't mm. make an agreement between two parties and you don't honor your agreement and then you get surprised when the guy leaves. So I left. All right. So like some driver managers, you know, they, you know, they, they, they got their ways of doing, you know, you know, doing their, their, what, what do you call, what's the word I'm looking for? Their, their fleet. They got a way to doing their fleet. Mm -hmm. Did you by chance, like yeah. when y'all two first got together, did y'all two for, by chance be like, well, look, bro, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm one of the drivers that goes down to Florida back and forth, yada, 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 you know, and try to keep me on that. Was, was that a discussion mm -hmm. made between y'all two or no? Yeah, I tried to be, and I didn't really have that discussion because I wanted to be a team player. And I said, Hey man, like I thought in my head, like, if you don't have freight, I've tried to work with you and stuff like that. I don't recall having Who's next? Next, 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 next. That 
conversation, all I was really requested is that, you know, I would get paid my salary that we had agreed upon, which they did. And then I get the home time that we agreed upon and they blatantly just didn't care. I, right. I can kind of tell when like the cut, when the DM is trying but, you know, it's things mm-hmm. happening in trucking, you know, but right. like when you blatantly don't care, and you know what I mean? Like, and I can instantly tell that he was just trying to run the most amount of freight to get the most amount of miles out of me. Hmm. All right. All right. That's what's Which up. Okay, but just honor the home time agreement. You know what I mean? All so, right. So you, uh, honestly, I didn't, I didn't like, they, oh. I didn't like the, uh, the tablets either. They use Sam Sara. I don't know. Have you, have you heard of them? Sam yeah. Sara? Sam Sara tablets. Yeah. I'm very familiar with them. <laughs> yeah. Never worries that for any, if you ever do post this, any of your viewers looking for a company, ask them if they use Samsara. And if they do, don't go to them because you have to like get out of your truck after you're done doing your pre-trip. And you have to hold a big tablet in your hand as you're taking pictures of your rig. Like, this is so silly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with the Samsara. I used to, <laughs> I used to work for, I used to work for a black ops company that has uh that has Sam Sarah and you got to do the walk around and take pictures and all like that. I mean, yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of, it, it's kind of tedious, but you know, I, I pretty much understand why they do that. Um, all right. So, so on your 30, so on your 10th day on your 34, you just decided to say this, this is it for me and started looking for mm-hmm. another company, but you decided to just, you know, for shits and giggles, type in the name again and see what pops up. And now a new ad that's saying uh, $1,800 for two weeks out. And that $1,800 is every week, right? Every week set. What was, mm-hmm. so if that was different from what you have seen, what, which one that you seen and that brought you in and what you was, and what you was at, was you on? I was getting paid 1500 yeah, oh. fifteen hundred. Okay, so this was just a set fifteen hundred every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can get paid salary, you can paid CPM. I'm a salary guy, you know. I don't like to worry about you know sitting around truck stops with no freight, not getting paid. Do you know what I mean? So if you make a little bit more, and I don't care as long as I get a salary. Oh, uh, okay, I got you. You you the type of person that's you know you you want to know how much you get paid every week instead of guesstimating. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. That's what's up. That's what's right, up, man. Yeah. Uh, all right. So eighteen hundred. Did <laughs> did you did 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 you call back? Did you call uh uh HR and be like, hey, <laughs> eighteen hundred for the same route that I'm that I'm doing yeah. fifteen hundred on? Did I mean did that conversation yeah. go down? You know, in my opinion, I think they should have come to me about that. I should have. They, I, I feel like they should have came to me and said, "Hey, man, look, we posted a job advertisement for seven to ten days, and unfortunately, how the freight works, we can't get you home every seven to ten days. But what we'll do is we'll make a deal with you where you stay two weeks out, but we'll pay you eighteen hundred. You know what I mean? They didn't do that. They attempted to keep me out for fourteen days, but then still tried to pay me fifteen hundred while the other people were getting paid eighteen hundred. And I looked at that, and I just viewed it as shady business practice. So I didn't even try to call them, and I just left. All right. So did you? Uh, well, of course, uh, you're on your 34. You found something else. Did did you did you do the Omaha load to get you back to Ohio, or what? I mean, how how did you get back to Ohio to to drop their truck oh, back off? Yeah, they. I, I called them up and they're like, well, just drive like halfway and meet some guy in a truck stop. I had enough hours to go to a truck stop. And then I met a guy in a truck stop. He took the load and then I did a reset. And then I went back to Ohio. Think, and, then, and then they were told me that they would give me a load to uh, the Florida. But then I just went to Ohio and I just dropped the truck off. I don't want to abandon a truck or be unprofessional. So I just, just dropped the truck off and then just took a taxi and just took a flight home. Wow. All right. C L so C L E transportation. Guys, this is uh this particular drive former driver's experience uh with the company. Of course, your experience may differ than his. Um would you suggest 
uh, CLE transportation to anybody? I, you know, I want to be fair with people and not, and not just like dog the company. Like if you don't have a life like, and you want to stay four weeks out as like an OTR driver, you can make money like a drug dealer at CLE transportation. They pay 64 cents a mile and they have freight and they have miles. But if you're the kind of guy that wants work-life balance and home time, I definitely wouldn't trust this company for that. All right. All right, Jay, man. Well, hey, I do appreciate you coming on, sharing your experience, man. Uh, where where are you at now? Are you uh, are you still in trucking? Has, has this experience uh, kind of like turned you off from trucking or you, you decide to, uh, you know, Stay in trucking. What, what what are you doing right now? Because you said you just came from Hirschbach. I I can imagine mm -hmm. why, but <laughs> but um, but are are you still driving? What's 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 up now? Yeah, I'm still driving. Hirschbach was a great company. I've been with them for like two years, and after I found another company, and I love my job as a I'm a team driver with my friends. I drive from Orlando, Florida. Straight shot on the 10 to Los Angeles, or Los Angeles, California. Smooth sailing, warm weather all year round. Pick up a load, bring it all the way back to uh, Orlando, and then I take my home time. I couldn't be any more happier with the current position I'm in. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, Jay, man, thank you very much for coming on to the uh, show, man, and, and uh, sharing your experience with uh, CLE Transportation. Big G's got it locked. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a